Hi, this is Dr. A. We're going to do a clean camera review video of the toxicology of metals. All right, let's look at metals and metalloids. Uh, aluminum is the first one that's found as an antacids, and you can find more about that one in the trace minerals and stuff. Arsenic, uh, so arsenic exists in both toxic and non toxic forms and is still found in some insecticides. It is both naturally occurring and in man made substances, therefore, um, exposure to arsenic can occur in various settings. Uh, it is often ingested and you can get either acute or chronic exposure. Uh, hair and nail analysis is frequently used for arsenic testing due to its affinity for keratin. Uh, and the analysis for arsenic is most commonly performed by atomic absorption spectros spectrophotometry. Sorry, and most uh, forms of arsenic are only detectable in the blood for a few hours. Beryllium uh, has many commercial uses uh, and it can cause lung inflammation, uh, most likely with the exposure through occupational, uh, you know, just your job. And uh, cadmium is used in electroplating and it can be found in tobacco. The main use again is electroplating and galvanizing, though it is also commonly encountered during the mining and processing of many other metals and it is toxic to the kidneys. Chromium, uh, there's a little bit more on that on the trace mineral videos. Um, hexavalent chromium is toxic. Uh, it can be used in factories, and so exposure would be, again, occupational. And trivalent chromium, however, is essential uh, to your body for carbohydrate metabolism. Lead uh, is a common constituent of household paints that were uh, before 1972. Some say before 1960, still so older stuff. Uh, it is still found in commercial paints and some art supplies. Um, lead interferes with the synthesis of heme from porphyrin. Uh, the anemia is caused by the lack of heme, which is uh, frequently observed in lead toxicity. Children can uh, appear, do appear particularly sensitive to these effects and are now evaluated for lead poisoning before entry into school. You can detect lead by uh, a absorption of atomic spectrophotometry and mass spectrometry. Um, and of course, you have the whole lead exposure through old metal pipes, old iron pipes, uh, lead, sorry, old lead pipes that leak it um, when there is a lot of chlorine that's added to the water that's getting treated. That's the whole Flint, Michigan exposure stuff. And it in areas where there is a lot of old lead pipes and stuff like that, you can see um, decreases in IQ levels in children. Mercury um, is used in industry and in dental fillings. It also accumulates in fishes and shellfishes. Um, so mercury causes protein denaturation, uh, inhalation and accidental ingestion of inorganic inorganic forms in, in the industrial setting is the most common reason for toxic levels. Uh, but consumption of contaminated foods is a major source of exposure in the general population. So if you eat too many fishes and shellfishes, then you could get um, mercury poisoning. Analysis of mercury is again by AAS using whole blood or an aliquot of a 24-hour urine specimen, or it can be measured by a nodal, stri a nodal stripping voltometry. And that is the last of the medals. Thank you.